Hello friends, you must have seen the modal login page to login in the web application. Modal is a small dialog that opens on top of the current screen. In this video, I am going to show how you can develop a modal login form and submit it using PHP and MySQL. I will show successful login and also I will show how to display an error message in the modal in case of a failed login attempt. So this is my home page and if I click on login, the login modal is opening up. I have a email ID password and I have a checkbox show password. So if I log in, so I enter email ID and password. Show password checkbox will display the password or it will hide the password. So let me log in now. So login is successful, it is displaying the username and a logout link. So I click on logout. So it's logged out. So it's logged out and it is showing the login again. I click on login. This time let me give a wrong password. So I give password 111. So let me login. So it gives me incorrect email ID or password. So here it is displaying the error message as well as displaying the modal again. So this time let me give the correct password. So it's logged in now. Log out. Let me give the wrong password again. So it is showing the error message. Now if I close this and then click again. So the error message is gone and the form is reset. So let me show you how you can develop this modal login form using PHP and MySQL. These are the steps I am going to follow to develop this application. So let me show you the folder structure. In XAMPP HTDocs, I have created a modal login folder and within that folder, I have created my basic PHP program and database connectivity and CSS folder. So let me show you that in Visual Studio Code. So here is the CFG folder, which is actually the dbconnect.php, which connects to the database. I am using a database called demo. And if you see here, users.sql is the table which I am using here. It's a simple table, just I have used email ID, name, password, and inserting one row in this table, which is user email ID is test at test.com and I have a MD5 has generated for password 123 and then a primary key. So if you see the database, so this is the demo database and this is the users table and if you see the structure, this is the structure of the table and I have one row in this table. So this is the row which I have used to log in into the system. So let me show you the project here. So table I have already created. I have the database connectivity. dbconnect.php is already there. I have created the table already. And this is the style sheet I am using for the application. Let me show you the menu here. So menu is nothing but this is the menu. So this blue bar, this is the menu bar. And if you see the top menu, this is, I have mentioned this at topmenu.php and it's a standard HTML document. I have used my custom style.css here. And if you see, I have just used your home, logout and login. So if you run this topmenu.php here, so it is showing the menu bar and the login and logout. Now, if you see the login and logout should not be displayed at the same time. So we have to write code for that. Now, if I click here, nothing will happen because I have not used any. I am not calling any program here in this link. So for the home, let us create an index.php. So I'll just add it here, index.php. And let us create a simple PHP file for the home. So all we'll be doing here since we need the menu, so we'll just include the top menu first. 
and display just home page. So I have created a simple home page and let me just save it as index.php. Now it is done and top menu I have included the index.php. So let me just run it. I click on home. So it is showing the home page. So let us see the top menu again. So let's see how to call the model here. If you see here data toggle equal to model and href equal to has user login. So if you see in the model now, login model, I have used ID equal to user hyphen login. So from top menu, I am calling the model here. So login model.php is a separate file. So we have to include that. So let us include here. So let us now see whether the model is opening or not. So we run index.php login. So the model is opening now, but you can see there is an error is giving this uh, warning undefined variable dollar email. So if you see in the model, in the email, the value equal to dollar email. So let us, let us initialize this. So we just initialize it and let us see that now refresh it login so the model is opening now there is a form here so you have to write the php code after the form is submitted so let us write that now in the login model see this is the form and i'm using action equal to login.php method equal to post and see the email input field name is email and password name is password and there is a submit button name is submit so let us now write login.php to get the values of email id and password and check with the database if those are correct or not in case email id and password are correct will redirect the user to the home page and display the user name. So let's do that now in the login.php. Let us write a new file. So if the form is submitted, so we'll just get the value of email and the password from the form in this login.php and we will also convert this password to md5 hash now let us see with the database if these values are matching so we will just write a simple sql statement uh, selecting the data from the user so our email id equal to dollar email and password equal to dollar password if you see in dbconnect.php dollar connect is dollar c o n n is our connection handler so let us write it here now if there is a match it will return a number it will return a row from the database so we'll just see if number of rows is greater than zero so in case of successful login we'll just use two session variables we'll put email id and user's name in two session variable and we will redirect the user to the home page so in case user email and password do not match we will put the email in the session variable and also we will put an incorrect email error message in a session variable and then we redirect the user to the home page so we save it as login.php so let's see how it is working now now if i click on login let us enter the email id
So it is saying invalid dollar connect. Now, since we are using session and database, so we need to start the session and connect to database. So let us add that. So let us now see whether we are able to log in or not. So now it is saying failed to know such file. So let's see what is the problem. So if you see dbconnect.php is in the folder CFG. So we need to mention that. Okay. Now we can see it is successfully logged in, but we need to show something that it is logged in. Let us update the top menu. Top menu you here we have. Let us add that logout.php. Now just quickly show you the logout.php. It is nothing but we are just unsetting the session variables and deleting the session and redirecting the user to the index page that is home page. Again, if you see in the top menu, we need to write the script here, PHP script here, because we don't want to show the logout and login at the same time. So let us do that. Now we'll do here. Uh, let us start the session. And then here you check whether the session is on or not. If you see here, let us add that here. So in case dollar session email is available, we want to show the logout. So here, else we'll show login. So all we are doing here, you're just checking whether user is logged in or not. In case user is logged in, we will show logout. And if user is not logged in, we'll show login. So let's see that now. I have let us first refresh it. So if I refresh it, it is showing login now. Now let us log in first. So you can see that login is not showing now, but logout is displayed because user is logged in now. Let me click logout. So it is showing the login. So let us display the username once user is logged in. If user is logged in, we we'll just display the user's name. I have a class, user class, so let me just add that. So I'm just displaying welcome and then username. So let me log in now. So it is showing the username here, welcome user and logout. If I click on logout, it is disappearing, but we can see login. So login is working. Now all we have to do now, we have to handle the error because in case user is entering wrong user ID password, let me see that I'm giving something wrong user ID and password, user email ID and password. See the login message, login form is not displayed and error message is not displayed. So we have to handle that now. So in case of invalid email ID and password entered by the user, we have, we have a session login error message variable. We have a session variable for the error message. So we have to show this message on the model and we have to show the model also in case of incorrect email ID and password entered by the user. So let us see that now what we will do here. Let us go to top menu. And you can see here, we'll just see if the error session variable is set or not.
so in case login error message session variable is set we'll just assign this session variable to a normal php dollar variable and we'll also we also need the email id because in case of error we want to display the entered email id in the model so that user does not have to enter the email id again and then we will unset the session variable so what we have done we have just we have just taken the values of session variables into two php variables and now let us display the error message in the model so here let us add just after the form I have a class. I have a class for error message just to print the error in red color. Okay, now let us initialize this variable since we are displaying this in the model. So now you can see that in the model we have displayed the error message, and in the top menu we are assigning this error message from session variable to a variable now all we have to do now in case there is an error message we need to display the model in the index.php home page we will add script so we will just write an anonymous function javascript function here we will write this function just to see whether there is an error message if there is a error message, we will open the model. Now to open the model, let us see if you see in the model, I have the uh, model. This is the model. If you see in the top menu.php, how I am calling the model. Here if you see, uh, there is an ID here, login. So we will use this ID to open the model. So let's see in the index.php. So we'll check if there is an error message. Here in top menu.php in the login, let us use this. This is the ID. So we'll just use the click function of this ID. So in the index.php, we'll just call it. So we are just calling the click function of this element dollar login. So let us see whether the model is opening or not. So I refresh it. Login. So let me give. Okay, let me give the email ID. This time I give a wrong password. So you can see the model is opened and this error message is also displayed but you can see that email id is not displayed we should display the email id also so where where is the problem let us see if you see in the login model we are displaying the email id value equal to dollar email and dollar email is also assigned here so it should display the email now let's see in the login.php in case of error here you can see the session variable dollar email is coming from dollar row email but in case of error message dollar row email will not be available so here it is the problem here uh, all we have to do here we have to just take the email id entered by the user so we'll just change this Now let us see now, refresh this, login, so 
so now it is displaying the email id entered by the user so and the error message as well let us now enter the correct password let's see so login is successful log out login again let me give the wrong password here and login now i close it let us close the model again click here so it is not reset so you need to reset this so how do you reset this value because we don't want to display this again here so let us do that so let us write some javascript here to clear this message and also i'll write this javascript to show the password here i need to show type uh, i need to display the show password here so let us do that first if i go to login model in the checkbox here just type show password let us refresh it so show password is displayed now now we'll write some javascript here so let's create some javascript file so if you see here in the model when we close the model call a javascript function let us create a folder called js and in this js we'll save this as let's give the name as login.js and all we need to do is just clear the message here so we'll clear this message error message also we'll clear the email value So we have to add this login.js in the top menu. Let us see that now. So I give wrong password. Now I close this model, open the model again. So the values are gone. So all I have to do now just write the script for show password. So let us now write some JavaScript to show the password here. So we'll see the model here, login model, and here is the checkbox. And let us call a JavaScript function here. So we'll just call a function toggle password. And let us write the script for this function. So here we will be doing this password. Uh, this is our password uh, field. So we will just change the type from text to password and vice versa. So what will be uh, checking here if the type is password you have to check if there are three equal signs here because this is an object and we need to check the object type as well so if the type is password then we are just changing it to text and else we will just change the type to password so now let us see click on login and i type something here show password is coming here so it's working now let us now again just check the successful login so i i type the password as one two three which is correct password so login is successful log out i click again i now i give a wrong password let's see it is working
So this way you can develop the modal login form using PHP and MySQL and along with that JavaScript and little bit of jQuery script. I have not used Ajax script here. You can visit my website codehowto.com for this topic. You can see the detailed step by step guide on how to develop this modal login. You can download the code free. You don't need to register yourself. If you find it useful, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video.